I love me a country and nigga with some gold teeth. Fuck all that talk, just show me. Oh my goodness, what's up? Look at this food. We just been get cooking. If you didn't tell by the intro, look at this, look at that. Ooh, so we got the butternut squash. I'm peeping the coconut oil. That's that condensed milk. We got that green tomato, leftovers, the what's that? Some bell peppers. We finna get to cooking, whipping, okay? So while we cooking, that's some uh yellow rice. You know what I'm saying? Take a little second. So I got started with that because this probably take a little second too. But like I said, this is a cooking video. I made some segments. I made a few changes to the YouTube. Basically, I know y'all like she gonna drop two videos and then and then just dip. Yes. But I had to take care of some other stuff. But I came back for y'all. And I came back better than ever. I changed the intro. I said, I want to switch up the vibes. You know what I'm saying? I got opportunity because I've been gone for a little second. You know what I'm saying? I can switch it up or whatever. So, where did I go? Oh, I think I'm rinsing off the, the vegetables. You always got to, yes, you got to rinse off your vegetables. They come out the ground. You better rinse them off. Okay? Anyways, you should be careful when you cut you see how I move slow. Even though I be in that thing, I be like, nah, nah, nah. You got to move slow because that night is so unpredictable. You know what I'm saying? Somebody walk up behind you. Like, you scared me. Anywho, back to what I was saying. <laughs> so, I really actually was like, nah, I really like YouTube. Like, because I feel like I could just express myself, show, like, different sides and verses. Like, when you on social media or stuff or just out in person. Like, this is something you can kind of look back on. You can get creative with. You showing others. Like, it's just a whole lot to it. So, like I said, I, I did a few changes. I really made some playlists because I wanted different segments. Like, you know what I'm saying? I probably don't just do a random video or whatever. But more than likely, it's going to be the playlist. I'm going to upload to them. So, people who want to, like, find something to feel today videos, like, you can see what I got, you know what I'm saying? Go through it. You want to cook. You want a little story time. What you want? I got it. Anyways, that's right. So, when you, look, when you get the seeds, you could probably um use a smaller knife. I just already had a knife in my hand. And like I said, I already know what I be doing in the kitchen. But you you probably, you know what I'm saying, you a beginner or something, get a little knife and scoop the inside out. But which you had, be careful with the knife, like I said. So we already rinsed them peppers out, we cutting things, we getting the inside out, cause we gonna start them peppers. <laughs> Y'all <I'm> so <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, let me be mad. I am so funny. Okay. Anyway, like I said, so you get that pepper. Back to me again. I've been doing so much like I run a food business, then I love interior design. I'm out here, got projects of designing like five bedroom homes, you know what I'm saying? Cobb County, like it's getting real, but I'm like, I can't, I can't do that to the YouTube. Like, I don't know, I came out, I got some folks looking at like, we obviously, you know what I'm saying, like the two videos you posted. So, girl, you better, you know what I'm saying, come on back. So, here I am. And I just decided to do the cooking one because it's going to be a little lengthy. Be able to give y'all a little background if y'all was wondering what happened, where she went. You know what I'm saying? She's still doing YouTube. I didn't want to get the impression that I just kind of hopped on it. It was gone. It really wasn't like that. I just had a lot going on. I had to find balance. And I'm still trying to find the balance. Like, excuse me, between everything, I'm still trying to find the balance everything I love to do but I'm actually pretty excited about this because like I said the playlist I made I know these are all things that I, I really you know what I'm saying can do and I like and I kind of want to show you since my fashion shot like it's just so much stuff so keep watching what I'm doing right now let me see mm, I really can't see because it's a little bar thing but we still work with the produce like I said yellow rice cooking basically you going to cut up all your ingredients and clean your your produce, you know, when you like, well, I can't say when you like vegetarian or whatever, like, you should always be incorporating produce in your meals, I think, because it just adds flavor, like, add them bell peppers, them jalapeno peppers, them onions, you know what I'm saying, throw a little, little soy sauce in there, be a little cinnamon, you feel me, you gotta get in there, anywho, what am I doing? Oh, I'm probably checking on yellow rice. You want to keep checking on your food. And this is even more funny. So, <laughs> I finally got the, uh, what is it? The little stand with the light and stuff. So, I can sit on my phone record. Because 
even though it's working, I'm like, I kind of want you to hold thing in once. You feel me? Like, I just kind of wanted to, boom, like, there I go, there that go. You see it all? But this cool, too. Like, you get the piece by piece. You feel me? There you go. Look, we didn't switch to the stove. Switch to the stove. So, I got there. So, it's going to be up uh, and get, uh, start making some videos with that. I don't know what's the next one I want to do. I kind of want to do the fashion one. I probably just do one each. So, like, get started and then just keep moving, moving, moving. And I'm just like, this really lit because I'm finna just be honest with expressing myself. And these folks are like, girl, what you mean? I'm like, girl, I'm coming back. I'm here now. But, anyways, that's some olive oil I didn't put in the skillet. Letting it heat up. The olive oil skillet is for the vegetables that I'm putting inside the vegetable. <laughs> I just want to say that. <laughs> That's some tea. I love me some tea. Green tea with some honey and lemon. Sugar. Uh-oh, why the camera room? Why the camera room? What we doing? What we doing? Oh, not the recipe card. Oh, y'all ain't catch it. Okay. Okay. My favorite onions. I'm an onion lover. So I'll try mm -hmm, mm -hmm, dice them. Yep, yep. Mm. Watch them nails bit. Okay. All right, all right. Scoop, scoop. Scoop your booch. Yep. Easy peasy. One, two, three. Can't beat it with a stick. All right. Got them onions in there. And a thing, I might as well. You <laughs> drop shit in my video. <laughs> Um, dang it, I forgot what to say. Oh, so the butternut squash, that like peachy, pinkish color looking big thing that I touched in the beginning of the video, I ended up not using it. But it was only because once I seen how much food I, like I really had in peppers, I'm like, okay, because it didn't fill me up, but I'm like, the butternut squash is going to kind of be doing too much. Like I didn't already put my heart and soul into this meal. I kind of need to eat. I'm getting lightheaded. You know what I'm saying? Garlic. Garlic thoughts. Where you at? Garlic is key ingredients to any recipe. Whether you're using garlic powder or fresh garlic. Garlic is just needed. You feel me? I'm laying it up. That's the secret ingredient. Garlic and onion. Garlic and onion powder or fresh garlic and onion. Whichever one, how you want to do it. I ain't use the green, I ain't use easy, y'all. That was supposed to be my little sprinkle on top, but I'm like, okay, I kind of got a lot of onions in there already. You know, you don't want to do the mouse when you female, <laughs> you playing with your food. You don't want to play them games. <clears throat> got enough onions in there, okay? What you doing, girl? Still peeling, girl? I miss my nails. I don't have no nails on right now. Look at that, but I be struggling. <laughs> Trying to mess with them probably. <laughs> I work in the food industry, y'all. That's what I'm like. Mm, I probably just see about them nails because I really just like in the kitchen and boom, boom, boom. It's all cute and stuff. And then I'm like, look, bitch, I'm really trying to cook and you in the way. You is finna get chopped off. I don't have time for that. All right. Get that garlic. Garlic, I do find a little, you know what I'm saying? Like, hot for me. Like, I be saying goes to myself. I'm like, nah, the, the garlic got to be diced up. Like, how them chefs be doing it? Because you a chef. I mean, they'd be like, mm -mm, I, yep, cha, cha, cover, cover, cover. <laughs> but I just, like, a few days ago. See, I was using a different knife, too. <laughs> that my issue. <laughs> but just the other day, I was using the knife, and I was like, okay. Like, it, it got it smaller. That would happen. That's what I'm talking about. Ow. 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 Oh. All right. Oh, I'm just chopping up vegetables. Y'all see it. Oh. Boom, 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 boom. Come on, girl. Them things is diced. See, that's what I'm saying. It be doing too much. Them things is diced and sliced, y'all. Oh my goodness, chef hand in this bitch. Big ass knife. <laughs> Come on. Wrong side. Wrong side of the knife. You're supposed to slide it on the other side. Failed the whole. Just failed the whole serve save. That's more tea. 
Where you at? Chain on the rise. Oh, oh, nope, nope. Is it laggy? When I get this laggy? Oh, put the rest of my stuff up. Mm-hmm. Scoot, scoot. Look, I told y'all I'm using green eyes there. <laughs> I said, I don't need all them things, bro. <laughs> Scoot in the skillet. You not know, you seen when I put the oil in and heat it up while you were there dicing and slicing and chopping? Is he not? It's sizzling right now. You can't see it, but it's sizzling. All right, rinse it off. Rinse it off. Next go. Next vegetable up. None of that cross contamination. None of that. All right, cool water. Cool water. You rinse with cool water. Wipe that counter, shall I Wipe it. Clean this. Come on. Why y'all, y'all wonder why y'all sick? Got them bash wouldn't touch the meat juice and stuff. Trippy. All right, all right, all right. It's sizzling. You see that oil? Look at that one in the back. Little pot. <laughs> you don't want use too much oil now. Oil that food. All right. Onion and garlic. Onion and garlic in. What next? I'm putting peppers in my pepper. That right too. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> like I said, <laughs> you can use a small knife, but if you know what you're doing, get in that thing. Yeah, yeah. Get in there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm in the kitchen. Moving and grooving. Moving and grooving. Y'all catching up? Y'all catching up? What I did so far? Pop quiz. What I do so far? Ask yourself, is you a real chef? Oh, okay, that's what I thought. Everybody a real chef? Chef it up, me. Oh, hold up. I'm gonna say Shy wouldn't happen to the mute. What is this? <laughs> I, I, I don't even know if y'all gonna know. The bitch stopped on me, I said, no, I just recorded all that. What's gonna happen to it? I go back, oh, okay, it's there. That's what I thought. Cause I was gonna be like, man, look, y'all finna get this original video. No, they didn't cut my clip. Oh, I was finna be like, uh-uh. All I did was pull the bar down and see what's going on with the music on my phone. And anyway, we back in there. What I didn't did, I didn't chop dice and slice them peppers. And with that, that's that green tomato, which I know about that green tomato. So the bitch stand up. I dare Northern folks say something about some green tomato. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> what you doing, Shaw? What you doing? Where you going? See what I'm saying? What happened to the... It's cool. I can hold it down. We don't need no background music. I can hold it down. I ain't finna fool with it. I ain't finna fool with it. Chop. Chop, chop it up. <clears throat> Bitch, what you doing? Oh, trying to get around the stem. Chop. I love me some green tomatoes. I only ever had them fried. And I'm pretty sure, like, you could maybe grill them. They might be good. I'm going to have to try that. You know what? I'm going to have to try that because I got a nice little, like, bomb grill skillet. It's like a real grill, though. Like, it got the grill, you know what I'm saying, everything. I forgot where I got it from. Oh, I got it from Aldi. Shout out to Aldi. Um, the grill, I love it. But I'm like, I'm going to go to Walmart and get me a real grill so I can put, you know what I'm saying, that fire in there. Had a bit of smoke, smoke, because it be smoking and it's... This apartment, I'd be like, man, look, it ain't ventilated for all that smoke. Need to move this party outside. So I'm gonna give me a grill. Might do the grilled tomatoes with my other little stuff. Also, I don't even think I told y'all. They probably like shoddy. In the beginning of the video, we like, where is the meat? Where is the meat? Where is the meat? Girl, it ain't nothing. Unless it's plant based. Surprise! I am vegan. So, guess what? Y'all finna be learning these bomb at vegan meals, okay? Vegan, vegetarian, plant-based, meatless, like meatless meatballs, how you wanna do it? It's good. Y'all finna see, y'all finna learn. This one, 
this one and one. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm, I'm sauteing veggies. I'm turning the oven on. We need that bacon pan, but we ain't baking. That's how you knew it was up. They like, she got the glass pan out. Is she finna put some chicken in and bake it? Or what? No. We finna use these things that come out the ground called vegetables and roast them up. I know y'all heard them stuffed bell peppers because that's what it is. Anywho, so like I said, we making stuffed bell peppers. And I love, like I said, shout out to all these. They got meatless meatballs by Herb Grown. And Herb Grown is pretty well known. Like, um, when I'm on Twitter, like, looking at the vegan community, sauteed up, sauteed up. Look at that. Mm, look at that yellow rice. Mm, turn that beat down. Mm-hmm, because it's all round up. Okay. Herb Grown, they pretty well known. When I go on Twitter, I... And I be like sometimes looking at you stuff or whatever. I be seeing people say something. So I'm like, okay, okay, bet they know. Like, and they have like meatless chicken pads, like basically fast food, like frozen food. That's one thing. Like, with the vegan community, a lot of folks want to associate it with just like grass or plants or whatever they be saying. And yes, yeah, like, I eat, you know what I'm saying, straight leaves. Like, I go to Sprouts and I pick up these, you know what I'm saying, leaves that ain't lettuce. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, this is not lettuce that I've known. Like, this is, you know what I'm saying, I don't know. Like, the stem is red. So, I'm just like, let me just go home and then Pinterest a little recipe when I work with new stuff, like, particularly vegetables and stuff that I don't know about. I get in that later. So, looking all brown and glazed up, get in there, caramelized. Yeah, yeah. So, herb ground back then. I love their stuff. Basically saying to say, ain't nothing wrong with, excuse me, the plant-based, like, out the ground, straight veggies, fruit, like, natural food, organic, non-GMO, and then the fast food. Because it's basically the same thing, like, how y'all going to the grocery store and then, oh, y'all, this part was so funny, bruh. So, this is, this is organic coconut condensed milk yes it was organic coconut milk it was the condensed milk wrong one wrong one lady what lady what lady what oh my gosh bitch that is not coconut milk that is condensed and we're gonna try this again with the right one Snack, crackling pop. Ba-dum. There we go. Holla, holla, holla. Ooh, that's what we needed, girl. <laughs> that stuff, pepper pepper was going to be sweeter than sweet. Going to bring me back to Thanksgiving. So we saved, we saved. I said, oh my God, this is not the right one. So, like I said, we got the onions and the garlic, season it up. You know what I'm saying? Get creative. Go to that spice cat and just start throwing stuff in the skillet. I'm tired of y'all. Salt and pepper, not seasoning. Anywho. <clears throat> so you put that coconut milk in there, get it creamy. You're getting it creamy. But you doing it step by step. You put the vegetables in first. Flavor it. Come on. Just keep up. Y'all finna see what's going on? Y'all finna see? Y'all see that baking dish in the back? Like I said, we is cooking for real, for real. But I'm going to have some videos for y'all. And they be using a little five minute. Meals, 15 minute people on the move, quick breakfast. Like, I got y'all. I'm telling y'all, I've been at this for, for like what going on three years, and I be learning stuff all the time. It be so crazy. Like, that's why I say, like, it's almost year three, and I'm Jay not getting the sprouts and being like, okay, let me stop getting things that I know and just start grabbing stuff off the shelf. Like, that I had somebody, uh, <laughs> I had my friend go shop for me, and I was like, look. When you go to the produce station, Jay grabbed a bunch of greens. I did for real said that. And came back with nothing. It was like, I didn't know what the, you know what I'm saying? It was a bunch of greens. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, that's what I wanted. Like, I'm finna try to, you know what I'm saying, figure it out and come out with some meals. So it was so funny because when I pulled back up, I was like, yeah, what is this stuff? But I just started grabbing stuff that looked appealing. Anywho, this is tomato paste. And wait, was that is that the fire roasted? No, no, no. I think that's regular. I love fire roasted diced tomato. Shout out to my love fire roasted diced tomato. So good. But that's your tomato paste. Just 
get a little bit in there. You making like you know what I'm saying the the flavor for the meal. Like it's the whole flavor. I might have to make this again. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to waste my all day on Sunday again. And when I got time, do that. But yeah, it's the plant based junk and the regular stuff. It ain't nothing. I be doing this, like from scratch, herbs, spices, ingredients, out of cabinet and stuff, all the way to just going to Aldi's and buying a bag of meatless chicken and put it on some glue, some uh, some organic gluten free bread, and go with my dad put some barbecue sauce on it, then throw some onions. See, I can never have a basic meal. What's a basic meal for me? My favorite grits, bacon, and egg. They got plant-based egg, plant-based bacon. Look, just like uh, turkey bacon, and it tastes so good. It's actually seasoned. That's the problem. Some of these, and that's one thing, too. I'm always going to season my food since big. But when you eat that plant-based stuff that come, like like I said, the junk food out the freezer, like the same thing y'all get when y'all go to the freezer, get frozen food, and we get it, too, uh, season it up. Look at that fresh lemon juice. Oh, oh look at that. Did y'all peep the yellow rice? I hope y'all catching up. I know I'm talking, but I hope y'all I hope y'all catching up. Okay. Alrighty. I'm on my baby. I'm on my baby. Anyway. Yes. Season it up. And hot sauce it up. I be coming up with stomach sauce like Yes, I'm telling y'all, I didn't came up with so many sauces. Just in the kitchen, just being creative. That's that ground cumin. Wasn't really shaking nothing, but I got a little sprinkle, sprinkle. Like I said, I ain't even have to go heavy on these because I got the, the strong veggies. I just peeped the arm. <laughs> I got the strong veggies. You got a little seasoning. You got the yellow rice. That's flavoring. What are you, cayenne pepper? I see that bit from my way. Hate that top. I mean, I hate that bottle because it don't have the top on that bit. So whenever I get to cooking real quick and I just grab the cayenne, I be like, dang. Oh, it's that one with no top. All right, stir it up. Stir it up good. Mm -hmm. Scoop, scoop, scoop. Look, scoop and flip, scoop and flip. Come on. All around town. Yep, yep, yep. You in there, Shay? Do you think? All right. Turn that bit low. You just want to keep it warm. But it ain't cooking because it's done. You cooked the rice. You cooked the veggies. The heat was on, so you cooked the milk. The tomato paste in there. And then you seasoned it up again. Now you just stuffing it. You already put the olive oil on the baking dish on the bottom for the peppers. We already did that in the beginning. You got to prep. You got to know how to prep. Make it easier. We getting some leftover vegan sloppy jaw. <laughs> I know my be like me, That is leftovers, y'all. We working with fresh food and leftovers. That was tomato paste and some other ingredients and barbecue sauce stuff. And the meat was beyond meat crumbles. They got like beefy crumbles and it looked like beef. Tastes like beef, like that's what you put on your spaghetti, and then they got the fiesta kind of beef where it looked different, um, a little bit, but it's still like the little crumbles. And they kind of, you know, saying, Well, I'm saying the packaging, like they put the fiesta on the tacos and then the beefy on the spaghetti. So, you get where I'm going. I just had to slam out of it because I'm like, Look at it, it's just I love stuff and peppers, all that feeling, like. It is, I guess you call this a vegetarian, like it's your rice and vegetables, you know what I'm saying? And vegetable, but you flavoring it up. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, you put the olive oil on the bottom of the pan, baking dish. Normally, I would have seasoned the pepper, but this time I was going for less seasonings, like less salt, like for my food. I was like, I want less sodium, you know what I'm saying? Just Get a little seasoning, get in there. I already got the salty, you know what I'm saying? Fried green tomatoes. That's fried green tomatoes, not tater tots. That's what I'm saying. Dude, that tater tots. Uh, I'm trying. What were you talking about? Yes, stuffing and stuffing. Mm, ain't puffing. Stuff, stuff. Work, work, work it. Look, move it around. I just had to show y'all, sometimes you got to play with your food. 
Don't give up. You want that many fried green tomatoes? Feed it in there. Mm-hmm. Get the corner. And that was breadcrumbs that I sprinkled on top first because I want a little crisp on top of mine. Like panko breadcrumb chicken breast. One little little crunch crunch on top. So I'll sprinkle some gluten free breadcrumbs. It's just easier to take it, pour it in the top, go over the sink. Back to the sink we go. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. I got y'all. I'm going to slow my up. Look, sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. See how I found the sink? Easy peasy. I normally don't sit nice in the sink, but it wasn't nothing in there. Mm-hmm. Get it? Get all around there. All right, we wrapping it up, y'all. We's wrapping it up. Olive oil on the bottom. Cook the vegetables in that rice. Stuff it, season it, flavor it, drip it out, have it. Crust it up, crumb it up. Put it on the bacon dish, wrap it in some foil in the oven. Finna put it in the oven, y'all. We wrapping it up. Go in the oven. Everything's cooked, like I said. Y'all seen it cooked. So it ain't cooking in the oven. You just need to get, you know what I'm saying, get them flavors soaked in everywhere and get that crust crumb crummy. I did it for about five minutes, kind of let all the stuff like go in there and marinate. And then I come back at them five minutes, take the top off the foil, get it, get that crisp crisp for about a few more minutes. All right, y'all, pitch coming. Don't let that pretty shit fool you. I really adore y'all.